Hello and welcome to this episode of the Educator's Toolbox. I'm Shelley Wacko and today we're here on the holodeck of one of my Move Nation cohorts. Hello, I'm Claire Short and this is the XY Text Note Card Reader. Tara explains that note card readers are an easy way to post information for your entire class. Unlike uploading textures to make printed signs, note card readers display the text directly from within a note card, and thus can be done without the cost of an upload. Locating a note card reader is very easy if you're willing to pay a few lindens for it. Free ones, however, are readily available from various educational islands and usually can't be copied or shared, so you have to go and find one on your own. Personally, I like shopping at the Gadget Museum on Songnison Island. Although not free, these tools are very high quality and usually quite reasonably priced. Their note card reader, for example, costs only 10 lindens. With prices like that, I find I save money by not wasting time spending an afternoon looking for free tools. After all, 10 lindens comes out to only be about 2 pence. But for today, we'll work with the free one that Tara uses and was found on one of the educational islands. Tara tells us that they come in many shapes and sizes with different borders and backgrounds. Some are basic looking while others have fancy fonts, but most are fundamentally the same in how they work. Res your note card reader by dragging and dropping and then positioning how you like. Prepare the text you want to add, which you can either do in a word processor and then cut and paste into a blank note card, or you can do it on the fly while you're in World. To add your text to the reader, start by creating a new note card. This is done from your inventory panel. Go to Create and select New Note from the drop-down menu. You may want to rename it so you can find it faster later. Either type in your text or paste it from your word processing program and save when you're done. Now all you have to do is drag and drop the new note card into the reader. When you do, you may find that some of your text is not showing. It looks as if it's fallen off the edge. This is not an uncommon issue, especially for the free readers. To fix this, most educators simply adjust their note card by adding the appropriate separations within the text itself. Stretching the object, by the way, doesn't work since the visible character count is embedded into the script. Opening the script, you'll see a number of features you can play with, but if you're not comfortable adjusting the script, then formatting your text inside the note card itself works just fine. I'll show you what I mean. To do it the non-script way, just open the note card and hit enter where you want each line to end. Be sure and save it when you're done and drag and drop it back onto the reader after you've completed. Note card readers display text for all to see, and they're very versatile. The class can watch as you make text-oriented corrections, or have students create and display their own note cards. You can have students correct each other's work, or create fill-in-the-blank assignments. You can do collaborative storytelling, display course objectives, or task directions, or just use it as an easy to change notice board. Anytime you want to change the text, and for that matter anyone can change it, just by dragging and dropping a different note card onto the reader. It's really just that simple. Note card readers are a valuable piece of equipment that belong in every educator's toolbox. They are simple to use and easy to change. Now you can sit back and relax because you've just mastered another in-world educational tool. From your friends here at Move Nation, this is Shelly Wacko alongside Tish. signing off.